Today on Garrett's Garage Talk, we're going to be going over on your Ford F-250 or F-350 auxiliary switches. Today, we're going to be doing it on a 2014 F-350. So you want to hook up some lights to your auxiliary switches in your truck, and you're like, how do I do it? Well, I'm going to show you how to do it. It's going to be easy, simple, and pretty sweet. All right, so the first thing you need to do is you need to go to Ford's website. The website's going to be www.fleetford.com. So you're going to pull up your diagram for your outlet switches. On the 2014, it's going to be page 25, and your model will show up here in the corner. Here you're going to have your switches. It's going to have your wiring, all your colors for your wiring here. So for your 25 amp, you're going to have a yellow, and then for your 25 amp second relay, you're going to have your green-brown, violet green and then just brown and then up here it's going to show you your amperage up on there it's going to sit there and say 25 amp 25 amp 10 amp and 15 amp auxiliary one auxiliary two auxiliary three auxiliary four all right today i'm going to sit there and show you how to use extension cord to do your auxiliary switches the reason why i like to use ex extension cords is because it has all your wires all in one and it's only like 10 bucks at Walmart for a 15 foot cord. And that will fit from your auxiliary switches to the back of your headache rack if you have a headache rack. And that's how we're doing mine today. So, the reason why I like using the extension cord is because it's cheap and has all your wires, like I sat there and said before. So, you have your negative, your positive, your ground. So, what I'm doing with my lights, because I have a headache rack, I'm going to have a Ford light 42 inch bar. And then I'm going to have two four inch bars pointing back towards the bed of my truck. So I'm going to be using the green for my ground. I'm going to be using the black for my four inch bar. And then I'm going to be using my white for my 42 inch bar. So Ford has sat there and put a jumper wire from outside your firewall to the inside of your firewall. So you can sit there and bring up your wires and do your connection up inside the cab or outside the cab. What I did with mine is I ran mine inside the cab because I'm going to show you later on your wires right from your switches is what you're going to connect to instead of using the jumper wires. All right, so outside your firewall, you're going to see these wires right there. These wires are going to be taped in right down there. So you just cut the tape and they'll come out. So you can sit there and wire in to write it right here outside your firewall all right so now we're underneath the dash and right up here are going to be the wires that you sit there and see that are running outside your firewall that you can connect to and they're color coded so you got to be pay attention to what colors you're using to hook up to your wiring to your switches but instead i sat there and used my wiring and brought it inside and connected it directly to the switches you have another set of wiring that's going to be taped up and it's going to be in this bundle way up here and you're going to bring them down you got your four wires they're on your diagram by color code for your switches one two three and four and the reason why i use extension cords so i can use a connection right there so i can sit there connect my headache rack to my wiring, if I need to remove my headache rack or remove my toolbox, I can sit there and disconnect everything and the wires will just hang right there. All right, so the reason why I did not use my auxiliary one is because I'm gonna be installing a front bar in the front of my truck and I want that to be my one. My 42 inch bar is hooked up to my auxiliary two because it needs to be hooked up to a 25 amp circuit. My four inch bars that are in the back are hooked up to my auxiliary four, my 15 amp. All right, so we got everything installed. So now I'm going to sit and show you how the switches work. For your switches to work, you got to turn your key on. If you leave your switches on by chance, you turn the key off, they automatically go off. So I'm going to sit and show you the 42 inch bar that I hooked up with the white wire. All right, so now I'm going to sit there and show you 
turn on my lights that I sat there installed on the back so I can sit there and light up the bed of my truck if I'm at night and I need to load things up. So those ones there are hooked up to the black wire that's inside the extension cord. And then all the lights sitting up on top, my 42 inch bar and my four inch lights are sitting there connected to the ground light, that would be your green. And so all the lights are connected to that green wire and grounding them all out. So now I'm gonna sit there and show you what the reverse lights look like. Well, I hope my video helped you to do the wiring on your auxiliary switches. Another thing is Ford calls them uplifter switches, but they say auxiliary, and that's why I call them auxiliary in this video. So I hope it helped you out so you can hook up all your cool stuff that you want to hook up to your auxiliary switches. So next week, we're going to be sitting there hooking up lights on a 2003 F350, and so we're going to be putting a full system in. We're going to be putting relays in for the lights, we're going to be putting switches in, and doing the wiring. I'm going to do a full video of that to show you how to hook up your lights and do a full system if you do not have your auxiliary switches. Thank you for tuning in to Garrett's Garage Talk. Hope I answered all your questions and do all your wiring on your vehicle. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And we'll see you next time at Garrett's Garage Talk. Oh,